Good morning guys. This is supposed to be a new battery cover for my Flysky T4B transmitter. I expect I'll probably have to do a second version, but this is the first version. Right, need to get the support layers off, especially for Chatty Batty. We'll see if we can do this live so you can hear it. See, there's an extra little bit there that may not be coming off. So I've, yeah. Come on, let's have that bit as well. No, that doesn't want to come out. I have to do that separately. Will it fit? I've actually already measured it and I think I'm about one millimeter too narrow. I think it will still go. No, I am just about one millimeter too narrow. Oh, that's annoying. I'm at the bottom end. How did I manage to do that? Well, there we go, live on camera, somehow, <laughs> I'm a millimetre too short, almost two millimetres, about 1.5 millimetres. Oh well, I have to do that again. I know why I got the dimensions wrong, I was using the original cover to get the measurements from it and I'd heated this to put a bit of a bump in the back of it to make room for the bigger battery but of course that's squeezed it in so I shouldn't have taken the measurements off there I should have taken the measurements off there and I'd have got it right then oh how silly Version 2, just that little bit wider. About a millimeter. And you will notice I took the opportunity to add a little bit there, which I hadn't put on the previous version. That's so I can put this battery alarm there, which normally was sitting on the front of the transmitter. That's where that bit of sticky was. So, let's see if we can get this out. One of those designs where you've got more support than you have actual um, item that you're trying to print. Ah, 
that wasn't good. I just broke off one of the bits that I'd printed. Ah, that was a fail. I was getting too carried away with the spudger, as Big Clive calls them. Never mind, we'll just have to glue that back on. I did know that was going to be a weak point in the design because you've got very little strength on a little join like that. Still, the rest of it's come off okay. So, first things first, does the battery fit in there? Yes, it does fit in there. That's the whole point of this design, to give just a little bit more space. And then, apart from the bit that's broken off, is that going to fit in there? Yes, so that's all okay. Well, I will glue that bit back on. It's very likely that these ones will snap off as well, because, as I say, there's a very tiny little bit of surface area there. A very weak, weak point. I did consider that it might be worth actually extending these right back because they wouldn't cause a problem to anything if I extended them right the way across and that would make them significantly stronger. So we might do a version 3. But in the meantime we'll try version 2 by gluing that bit back on. Right, a bit of foot, uh, sticky foam Hold that in place. Let's go down through there. I've just cleaned off all the old sticky because I used um, duct tape to hold the back on. I've just cleaned that off with a rag and um, WD-40. WD-40 gets rid of the stickiness. So that one can go in there. If we get it the right way around, yeah, that's okay. There we are. And then another little bit of that sticky foam. I don't know if you can see, but I put a, a minus and a plus there to remind me which way round. This goes. So the minus goes on there. So we're a little bit low anyway, 3.9. Is that 3.95, 3.90? Oh, 3.96. I mean not bad. I could have pushed that in a bit further. Hmm. Never mind, that'll do for now. This does look like it's going to slip out though. Which was a problem with it before. So I might still end up putting a bit of sticky tape. I haven't cleaned that off, so that's still sticky. I might still put a bit of um, tape around it just to stop it sliding off. Or I could modify this to have a little bit that comes down the front there and put a screw in it. Other than that, that's good. That's going to work. Yeah, I do remember now, if, if you go back and look at some of my old videos using this transmitter, I've actually got rubber bands right the way around the outside to stop the back sliding off.
and as I say I ended up using duct tape bright yellow duct tape just another little thought I've pushed the wires through that same hole so that I can actually charge the battery without removing it. Now some people will say that's a bad thing. But that does mean that's what I can do. Not quite as neat and tidy, but it does mean I've got external access to that battery. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.